Hi everyone! Welcome to the second lesson of our virtual assistant crash course. So in this lesson and the next two other lessons, we'll be talking about the top three skills required to be a virtual assistant. So this specific lesson or this specific video will focus on talking about advanced web research. So let us start our advanced web research lesson now. Since Google is currently the most commonly used search engine, Let's focus our effort on Google search for this advanced web research lesson. However, most of what we will be discussing here can be applied to other search engines like Bing. So let's say you have a homework that asks you to find some news about the 9-11 World Trade Center. When we search for the topic on Google, what Google shows are usually the latest news about it, as you can see in our search results. So most of these articles have been published or updated just this year, 2021. Google has its own algorithm to choose which articles to show first. And for the 9-11 World Trade Center keyword, it seems to me that the new articles or the updated articles are dominating. However, what if you want to read about articles that have been published in the year 2011? just the year when the attack happened. So what you can do is type the keyword or topic you want to search. So as you know, we've already typed 9-11 World Trade Center and we've already um, click enter. So now what we have to do is to click here on the tools icon and then you can change it from here, any language, any moment, all results. But since we are looking for search results, particularly for a certain date or for a certain year, then you have to click this any moment drop down menu. So here you can choose to um, find search results that have been updated or launched or published the last hour, the last 24 hours, the last week, the last month the last year. So you can change among these options. But of course, since we are looking for a certain date or for a certain year, we can use the custom range option. So here, this is de and tu. They are de and to because these are in Spanish, I believe. So this is from and to. So you can type. So for example, you're looking for um, September 11. Mm -hmm. Oh no, sorry, 2011. There you go. Up to December 31, 2011. So you only want news that have been published or updated around this time. So now you, what you need to do is to click go there. So now, as you can see, our results are now limited to those articles or news that have been updated or published during the year 2011, between September 11, 2011, up to December 31, 2011. So this is just one of the advanced features that we can use for our advanced web researching. There are still many advanced web research features out there, so let's dig a bit more. For more advanced Google search, you can click on this icon, the um, settings icon. After that, choose advanced search, and now you are redirected to the advanced search feature of Google. So each box that you can see represents a search technique that can be super helpful in refining your research. So the first box or the all these words box will give us search results for any of the search items that we input in any combination. So this is the equivalent of just typing your question or keyword into the search box. This can be problematic in a way that it can give you too many results. Some can even be not directly relevant, considering that it chooses how to pair or combine the words you type in. So let us try to research urbanist developments. So if you're wondering what urbanist developments is, it's actually my previous company or the company that I previously worked for. So let's try search enter. So it's actually doing a great job since the first ones or the pages that that rank high on the search results are actually the ones that I'm looking for. So urbanisdevelopments.com. Yes, there you go. So while you can see that the pages that rank high are definitely the pages that are related 
or directly related to what I'm searching, urban is developments. On the other pages, you might be able to find pages that are not directly related. So for example, Buzz Lines Urban East Developments in Singapore. This one is not what I'm looking for. And then see on the other ones. There we go. So we have Zhangbei Urban East Heating Source Station. We have Austin Urban East Multifamily Development to break ground. So those are not related to what I really want to look for. And as you can see here, we have 191,000 results for the Urban is Developments keyword. So let's go back to our advanced search feature or advanced search page. So as you can see, the first box is equivalent to typing the keywords or the question immediately without any Boolean function or any Boolean formula. So now let's go back to the um, advanced search page and let's try to put our keyword into the second box or this exact word or phrase. So the thing with the second box is that it will only give you results that carry the exact words that you typed. So that means if it's only urban is and doesn't have developments, it will not show that page. If it only has the word developments but not urban is, then it's not going to show that page. So let's go with our advanced search. There you go. So the one thing that you can definitely see here is that on the first box or the normal typing one, we have 191,000 results. But with the use of the second box, we now have 18,800 results, a lot less than the 191,000 results. It's actually less than 10% of this one, right? So as you can see, all that we have here right now are just pages that contain those two words, the exact two words, which is urban is developments. So even at the last page, see, they are showing urban is developments. So this is a one way for us to refine our searches. If we want to have results that really or exactly have those words that we are searching. So as you can see here, we have about 18,800 results. There you go. And the second box, if you don't want to go to this page and just want to type directly, there is a formula on this one wherein you just have to go to Google search itself and then put the exact words in quotes, right? So for example, this is the keyword. It's between two quotation marks. So as you can see here, this one. So this is the equivalent formula or the equivalent um, equation in, in order for you to have um, a search that only contain exact words or phrases. So that's it. So now let's go back to the Google Advanced Search and let's discuss the third box or the any of these words box, okay? So this box is searching is for searching words that are often used interchangeably. So for example, healthcare and medical. So if you're looking for an article about um, medical, you won't mind having an article about healthcare because those two words are kind of synonymous and can be used interchangeably. So let's say or healthcare. There you go. Then words, there you go. So once you enter it, sorry, you don't even have to put or just put medical healthcare, right? There you go. So now you are being shown the results that either have healthcare, the word healthcare, or have the word medical. Here, medical, here, medical, here, healthcare, here, healthcare, healthcare, and medical. So as you can see, you are typing medical healthcare in advanced search page, but in our main Google page, there, there is a word or, so it should be a capital O R. Okay. So if you want to just research any of these words, you can immediately type word one or capital. Okay. Capital O R then word two. So, or you can go to the advanced search page if you want to. So now let us um, move on to the fourth box or the none of these words box. 
So this box will remove a certain word from your search. And you can continue removing irrelevant result by typing certain words that you don't want to be present in the results. So let's say, for example, you are looking for the best medical books and you don't want to be shown marketplaces or e-commerce websites. So you can just type the words Amazon and for sale to remove or to limit your searches and exclude uh, pages that contain the words Amazon and contain the words for sale. So let's go. All books or best medical books. There you go. And none of this word. I don't want to have Amazon and I don't want to have, oh, sorry. Let's run a search on this one first, okay? So this is what you see, best medical books. Here you go. You will immediately see Amazon because Amazon has a really, really great ranking. So what you can do here is, let's go back. There's Amazon, there we go. And um, then search. And then none of these words, I don't want to see Amazon. I don't want to see sale. I don't want to see price, right? So then, because you don't want to see like books that are being for sale, for sale, advanced search. So if you're going to find it, see here and best medical books, there we go. So. The normal search, you can see Amazon here, but on this one, with the none of these words, it doesn't show Amazon already. So as you can see, I'm going to put it here. And then this one, I'm going to go back to the advanced search just to show you. So as you can see, we just type it here, all these words, um, best medical books, because that is what we want to search. And then we told them that, hey, I don't want to see um, search results with the word Amazon sale or price, right? So for you to be able to, um, to write it just immediately on the Google search bar, you just have to put a minus sign before the words that you don't want. So for example, minus Ronit, minus Chuck Russell. So here you are typing best medical books because that's what you're searching, but then you don't want none Amazon, no words that is Amazon, minus no words that is sale, minus no words that is price. So that is how you do it with a Boolean function. So if you just like familiarize yourself, it's going to be a lot faster. But if it's quite confusing, you can always go back to Google Advanced Search, okay? So now let us go to our fifth box, which is the numbers ranging from this and this. So this is the equivalent of what we've done here, which is the tools. As you can see, the anytime. So you can put a certain um, date here. So let's say you only want search results from 2010 to 2015. And then if you're going to enter that one, there you go. Um, sorry, I have to go back here and delete this just to make it easier, right? So you want best medical books 2010, 2015. Ooh, sorry. There we go. The results that you can see are now results that are in between 2010 to 2015, except on this one. I don't know why. I think this is um, kind of like an advertisement or whatever. But here on the first page, you can see 2014, 2015, 2012, 2014, right? And to do that, you just have to type the dates or the year and then double dot and then the last date or the year or just have to go here right? Or we just have to go to the tools and then anytime and then custom range. It's just the same thing as what we did on the first, um, on the first section, uh, on the first part of this section, sorry. So now we are already done on this part. How about this one? So here you can limit your search results even more. You can refine it even more using these options, right? So according to language, so if there is a certain um, preference, when it comes to language and then here for the region or country. So if you only want to find search results from a certain region, example, if you're searching for, um, let's say crypto companies and you only want us based results. So of course you just have to, um, choose United States there. Okay. And then latest update. So if it doesn't matter to you, if they have been updated 
for the past 24 hours, for the past week, past, um, past month, or past year. Up to you, okay? And the cider domain. So here, if you want to find best medical books and there is a certain site, website that you want to search, you can just put Amazon. For example, you're looking for an Amazon, uh, sorry, a medical book from Amazon and you just want to have Amazon.com and no other sites anymore. Let's see. There we go. All of the searches will be from Amazon. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Okay. So it's very useful if you want to find something or a result or an article or a blog post or any content from a specific website. So terms appearing as well. So you can choose like, hey, I want to search about best medical books, but I want them to be in the title of the page. Okay. So any results that don't have best medical books that, sorry, that those have best medical book in the title, then they will not um, be shown. So if you can say in the text of the page, in the URL, or in the links, or anywhere in the page, up to you. And then show um, safe search. You can have the control to show explicit results or hide them. And this one, if you are looking for a specific file format, like for example, you're looking for a PNG, you can type it here, right? So I usually use this one, especially if I am looking for a um, a PNG picture that I can use because PNG is very important because they don't have backgrounds. So I usually search for them. And then use H rights. So be very careful when using um, videos, GIFs, or JPEGs, PNGs, anything on the internet because they might have... Um, certain license, right? So if you want to use something commercially, then please, 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 please filter according to free use, uh, free to use or share. And that means that the owner of that um, content allows you to use it in any way you can, right? So free to use or share, even commercially as well. So free to use or share or modify even commercially. So that's it. This is just very important if you are planning to use something commercially. So that's it for our advanced web research or advanced Google research. Now you know how to use the advanced search features of Google. You can now speed up researching processes and refine search results. Remember that being good at web researching is a skill important not just to being a VA, but also to other positions like marketing, sales, operations, even ITs, and many more. So see you on our next lesson, and together let's explore the second skill that you must have as a VA, and that is none other than email management. See you there!